know how it goes, all right. Hi guys, Matt here, and welcome to my next Matt unboxing, and it is, again, Model Pony French of His Magic collectible card game. These um, two boosters, are, uh, two displays, are the last packs I am going to buy from Premier Edition, uh, most likely, and, um, well, at least the last booster displays. You know, I'm not going to buy more booster displays. So, let's see what's in them. Um, I am going to try a little bit here because I seem to have a knack for picking the auto wares out of an open display since I did it again in between. So, I'm going to check a theory now. I'm going to remove. the first six boosters, three on either side, put them on the side here, and then I'm going to pick the next four on the left and on the right and open those first. So this is booster number four on the left, no on the right side, booster number four on the right side. It has an E up. Yep, I do not have any yep yet, so I like that. Let's divide in uncommons and rares. Force booster on the left side. So normally I would buy of a fresh test by these boosters. I got a savoir faire and a rainbow shine in foil, which I already have, but it's always nice. Rainbow shine in foil and the uncommons on the side. So this is the fifth booster on the right side. A good hustle. No foil. And the fifth booster on the left side. It's a Coco Cuso. And no auto rare. So I didn't pick an auto rare here. So that's four and five boosters. The boosters four and five. I'm going to remove 6 and 7 and take the next 4. This is the 8th booster on the right hand side. It's a Night March and a Philomena. So, there we go. 8th um, booster, right hand side, hits the auto rare. The Philomena, in this case. Six, no, eight booster on the eight booster on the left hand side. It's another good hassle. It's nearly the same booster. Good hassle. Um, nearly the same booster as the other one. <laughs> um, I saw this one Um, ninth booster on the left hand side. Team effort. And um, the eighth booster and the ninth booster on the left hand side. Here we go. Let's spring forward and straighten up and fly right in foil. So, um, so that means if I had bought these um, boosters out of the display. Um, I would have bought eight boosters, got one ultra rare, one foil rare. 
that's that's good. That's a good pick. So, um, before we continue, let's put the boosters back in the order. So, I'm now going to open. I'm now going to open um, accordingly, meaning um, this is the first on the right hand side, and so on. So, let's continue. Action shot and a foil Paris Price one. That's a rare. First booster left hand side. Bright Bob Golden Oak Library in foil. So another way in a four way. That's a very good start into the display. What I gotta say, the first two both had it also had a had a way in foil. So second booster on the right side. Another Wizotel. I have two, now I have three. Second booster left hand side. And it's a full steam. Third booster on the right hand side. <clears throat> it's a charged up. She is uh, an entertaining pony. Third booster on the left hand side. It's an F stop and an assertive training in foil. Assertive training is a rare and has a beautiful picture. So, um, since we took out the boosters 4 and 5 already, this is the 6th booster on the right hand side. It's the Lilac Lynx. Six booster on the left hand side. It's a working together and a foil Pinkie Pie ice cutter, which is a common. But it doesn't replace a rare or an uncommon, so all good. The seventh booster on the right hand side. And it's a wildfire. And the seventh booster on the left hand side. And it's a Fluttershy Guidance Counselor. So, as we can see, in the um, picks I made of 8 boosters, I picked the only auto-air in the top 18 boosters. 
and one of the airfoils. There were plenty of airfoils in this uh, booster in this display so far, but uh, I picked the only outer rare. So, um, yeah, let's go accordingly here then. Um, this is booster number 10, 10 on the right hand side. It's a picnic lunch. Booster 10 on the left side. It's an assertiveness training. I love this picture. Booster 11 on the right hand side. Snips and sails. Booster 11 on the left hand side. Straight and up and fly right. Booster 12 on the left side. Uh, on the right side. On the right side. The big guns. Now it's booster 12 on the left side. Spike. <clears throat> booster 13 on the right side. Solar wind. And in the thirteenth booster on the left right side there is a golden oak library. Fourteenth booster on the right side. It's a sunny rays and a sweet apple acres in foil. Fourteenth booster on the left hand side. It's a fiddly faddle and they're working together in foil. Fifteenth booster on the right side. Back where you began. Fifteenth booster on the left hand side. It's a Paris Place farm. And the Sekoa, the second auto rare in this 
display which should also be the last one. I seem to have very bad luck in buying this place. I never draw three four rares. Uh, three auto rares. Never. I only two. Sixteenth booster, right hand side. It's a main cure all. Main cure all is a rare. Don't be confused here for a minute. And that is the 16th booster on the left side. Sunny Smile. Seventeenth booster on the right side. It's a gyro and a professional A in foil, which is a common. The 17th booster on the left side. Shows the Sweet Apple Acres. The 18th booster on the right side. Shows another pair of sprites form. And the last one, the 18th booster on the left side. Has a pinky responsibility pie. So as predicted, only two ultra rares. I thought as much. So, um, before we begin, uh, again the same game. I'm going to remove the first three boosters. On either side. And uh, pick boosters four and five of that display first. Fourth booster, right hand side. Has a spike. Fourth booster, left hand side. As a Carousel Boutique, which, strangely enough, this is the first non-foil one I have. Fifth booster on the right hand side. It's a spring forward. And I'm laughing because Carousel Boutique and foil. <laughs> Second foil Carousel Boutique. And the fifth booster on the left side. Has a, a lucky streak card I don't have yet. And again, 
removing the next two boosters on either side. And now picking booster 8, 8 on the right side. It's a fiddly faddle and the Pinkie Pie is cut in foil. The eighth booster on the left hand side. Show the Lotus Blossom. Ninth booster on the right hand side. Team effort. And the ninth booster on the left hand side. And it's a Mr. Breezy, a card I still don't have. And now I have it. So, in this case, my pick was wrong. I picked eight boosters and I did not pick the alternator. So, um, so, in this case, I was wrong. Let's start over. First booster on the right hand side. Mr. Beaverton Beaver Teeth. First booster on the left hand side. Has a big shot and an anti applesauce in foil. Second boost on the right side. Straighten up and fly right. Second boot on the left hand side. Has it gotta go fast? And the first auto rare, Lyra Heartstrings. I already have her once, but you can never have enough Lyra. It's not because she's so play strong, but she is uh, just a lovely little filly. Well, she's a mare now, isn't she? Third booster on the right side. Another Coco Cuso. And the third booster on the left side. Shows an assault kick. Now to go on. Since we picked booster four and five, this is the sixth booster on the right hand side.
it's a standstill and a ship shape heavy lifter as the auto air and this continues to be my bad streak in this place because that is not a very strong nor very costly auto air um, and Lara isn't that strong either so as of my displays I picked rather bad auto airs so far six booster left hand side it's a surprise it's 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 a card surprise it's not an actual surprise it's a card. yeah well you get it seventh post on the right hand side huh well first of all it's a rare find and it's a drill bit but it's a drill bit in foil and he has a misprint on the side, you see there? It's a, a spot next to the cost. Strange. And that must be the uh, seventh booster on the left hand side. It's an undercover adventure. I think I only have one of those. And a Rainbow Dash Weather Leader in foil, which is an uncommon, but she's foil, so foil, 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 right? So we are back into the normal booster box. Tenth booster on the right hand side since we picked boosters eight and nine. It's another Golden Oak Library. The tenth booster on the left hand side. This saves the display, you know. Cloud Chaser. Strongest of the wares, at least most costly of the wares right now. Eleventh booster on the right hand side. Cloud Chaser looks so happy. Another pinky responsibility pie. Eleventh booster on the left hand side. Apple Stars. I don't even think I saw her before. No, oh, she's not very strong. Twelfth booster, right hand side. Working together and Fluttershy Garden's Castle and Foil. Twelve booster left hand side. It 
Sagala Appleby. Thirteenth booster on the right hand side. It's a silver spanner. I don't have that one either. You. Oh, you can dismiss her to get uh, a resource back, which was dismissed. 13th booster on the left hand side. It's a featherweight and a foil Winona. It's a common. Fourteenth booster on the right hand side. It's a falcon. Fourteenth booster on the left hand side. And it's a sea swell, my first one or two here. So this this boost this display fills a lot of holes in my collection. Fifteenth booster on the right hand side. And it's a Scootaloo. Fifteenth booster on the left hand side. It's a lemony gem and a pinky responsibility pine foil. Sixteenth booster right hand side. Fluttershy guidance counselor. Sixteenth booster on the right hand, uh, left hand side. Two bits. Seventeenth booster, right hand side. Sunny Smiles. Seventeenth booster on the left hand side. And it's an Applejack Born Razor. Eighteenth booster and last booster, of course, on the right hand side. And it's a good hustle. And the last booster of the display, the eighteenth booster on the left hand side. And 
it's a war there nearly and a rare find in foil so so um, what do we have to say about these two displays well first of all my bad streak continues two for uh, ultra rares per display there has not been a single display of the four I opened that has uh, three ultra rares Secondly, I managed to draw two drill bits in those uh, displays. Uh, no, not drill bits. Uh, two ship shape heavy lifters in those displays. So, um, that's not a good pick. However, I drew a claw chaser now at the end, which I will of course trade away because I don't play the uh, rainbow color. Oh, or loyalty, as it's mostly called. Um, so, yeah, it's it's uh, a sign. It's a sign that the display buying a display is mostly good to follow up your car pool of comments and uncommons. That's it. Buy one for comments and uncommons. Maybe two if you are rich enough, but don't overdo it. Then, if you need a card, buy it directly. Even if it is a uh, even if it is an auto rare. So. Um, So what I did is I did buy a Rarity Truly Outrageous, I did buy an Octavia, um, I did buy a second Doctor Who's just because only one Doctor Who's makes no sense, and I did buy a Nightmare Moon, yeah. So um, what we can see still is that I'm forced to play Twilight. I am. Not strong enough on the rarity side to add rarity truly outrageous in right about now. I just uh, can't see it. The uh, Twilight side is way too strong on my uh, side. So magic is the thing I have to play with my uh, laughter main, with my Pinkie Pie. Um, I would like to switch to rarity. I really would, but I can't. My pool isn't deep enough, you know. It's not that I only have one rarity truly outrageous. That's one thing, but... What I really lack is the depth in uh, the um, in the wares of um, rarity. I just didn't do enough on those. Uh, whilst I can kill myself with rare finds, and um, now I also have three funny smiles if necessary. And yeah, um, I, I can't ignore the strength of the toilet side in my pool. So it's probably going to be still laughter and uh, magic but we're gonna see I mean um, now I am uh, not going to buy any more displays that's that's it I'm not going to buy any more of the premiere displays I will most likely buy um, of the next edition two displays and that's it two displays see what I draw and the rest will be bought simply as that because you you can't count on your I can't count on my luck on draws I just can't I don't pull the big ones so yeah let's see what the next uh, premiere is even about I know I will get two Lunas because I already ordered the boxes where they come in from and um, I will get another wildfire but I don't really you know I, I just bought it because I could you know, it was from the same seller, so just added it to the pool. Um, yeah, um, this is of course going to be a little bit more deck building, but the main principle stands. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Anyway, um, so this was the uh, opening of uh, my last two displays. I hope you liked it. I hope you took something away from it. Mostly that digging deep in a display is not going to get you any ultra rares. Take the top 10, 11 boosters. You will nearly always get bo both of the ultra rares of the display. And if there is a third, you are... Well, the, the, the display is very lucky if there is a third. But mostly there isn't. So at least that's, that's my odds. I've seen one open a three auto red display and I see two online with three auto red display but I opened four and none of them had two had three ultra rare so I can only confirm that it is rather rare and that you have to calculate with two ultra rares and not three not three 
Anyway, so that was my unboxing. I hope you liked it. And um, yeah, I'm going to see you around in one of my next videos. See ya, bye.